Let's see. Hi. Um, cute. What are we doing? What are you talking about? We're having so much fun. Just the two of us. New Year's Eve. Festive party favors. Come on, let's take another picture. Make a silly face. Would you stop it? You don't want to be home with me tonight any more than I want you to be home with me. Why did you drag me out tonight, Bobby? I mean, wouldn't you rather be with Langston? She doesn't want to start to be alone tonight, and I don't want you to be alone either. Just touch me. Okay. Dale, yeah, well, if you try to kiss me at midnight, I'm gonna kill you. Nice choice of words. Oh, okay, look, I'm sorry. But cheer up, okay? Thanks to our little brother, we're looking at a new year without the old man. Promise me you were gonna go to that party in Angel Square tonight. I can't when my mom pulls some strings. I'm gonna get out of here? No. Sorry, I wish. But since your arraignment can't happen until after the holidays, they're gonna let me spend New Year's Eve in here with you. I don't want you to. Hey, it's me. Where are you? I just wanted to let you know I never found that one last copy of the magazine. Someone in Landview must have it. drag you out of the house for you to read, okay? <laughs> now, your New Year's resolution better be to stop moping and to get over Joey Buchanan. If you've got lemon in your eye, then you better make some lemonade, okay? I still think that Aubrey might have a skeleton in her closet. Oh, yeah? What do you think it is? <sighs> but I doubt it's anyone Joey knows. Okay. Hey, come on. Did you see this? Hi. I don't read that crap. I mean, you can't because it's in French. <laughs> There's a picture in here of Layla with her hands all over her boss. So don't worry, okay? I'm convinced Joey won't see it. Aubrey, what is it that I'm not going to see? Hey, don't the felons know you're trying to get married? Stop him from hitting Landview Bank and Trust. Mm, inconsiderate bastards. Mm. You should have Nora attack on special circumstances. No chance of parole. I'll think about that. Well, we're a few hours late. But this is it, dude. You're marrying Natalie tonight. Brody called. He and John are finally there. Oh, why would I think that John would be on time for our wedding? Cops. I know. Natalie, this is it. You're marrying John. I love surprises. So, what are you hiding that I can't see? <sighs> My wedding dress. That was the designer on the phone. He's been working straight through the holidays to get it done on time. Oh, where would you have on? Because you look gorgeous in that outfit. And you look gorgeous mm. in this one. Why don't we celebrate here, just the two of us, mm. and we can ring in the new year all by our lonesome. I kind of told Kelly that we'd meet up with her. When did you talk to Kelly? We're at the gym. No, 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 don't, no, don't go all green-eyed on me. I mean, the real reason I want to go out tonight is so that I can show you off. She had an explanation. It was a lame explanation. Now, I'm really starting to wonder if it's work that's keeping us apart. Maybe it's this guy. To her first year on Earth, Without the old man. Come on. Cheers. You're still stuck on Star. Is that the problem? Yeah, I'm stuck on Star, but that's not the problem. Then what is it? Just admit it. The only reason you're not out with Ford is because you don't want me to spend New Year's alone. That's... that's not true. Don't even try, okay? It's really sweet that you care about me so much, but I don't want you to be worried. So what, I'm just supposed to let you stay here all by yourself? 
Well, I was going to call James so that you wouldn't feel bad about going out with Ford, but... You can't? Um, it's just, okay, on, on Christmas, I, I told James that I want him in my life. Right. And New Year's is just so... Romantic? Sexy? Full of possibilities? <sighs> yeah. <sighs> So, so what, you don't trust him enough to believe you two could hang out just as friends? I don't trust myself. I don't understand. Why don't you want me here? Because it's New Year's Eve, Danny. You should be at the party that we plan on going to and not stuck in here with me. I'm not stuck anywhere. I'm celebrating with you. Mm. Well, I don't think I'd be too good at celebrating tonight. Okay, well, then we can just hang out. Uh, with bars between us? Well, yeah, of course. Me, I don't care where we are. Talking to you is, is one of my favorite things to do. But I don't want to talk about why I'm here. Why not? Because you didn't really kill your father? I think the, uh, the charges against the Solinger kid will stick. Are you seriously thinking about who killed Eddie Ford right now? No, not really. Okay, whatever calms your nerves. I don't know if it does. You know, I don't know what I'm supposed to be thinking or what I'm supposed to feel. What, what do you say before a wedding? Do you remember the rings? You got the rings, right? For the tenth time? Yeah, I've got them. I've got your back, John. I know. Yeah, man, I know. <laughs> It's gonna be good. It's gonna be great. Yeah, I know. I just keep thinking something's gonna happen to take it away. You're nervous. Mm, why am I shaking or something? No, oh, I can just feel it. I know, but I'd be 10 times worse if you weren't here. Well, you have no reason to be. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> <laughs> Is it true? Is it true? Like tonight? Hey. Who told you guys? We just dropped Shane off with Charlie and Vicky, and Echo was there, and she told us. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, John and I just decided to go for it. I, I hope you guys can understand. Um, you, you know, with, with Jessica and Joey getting married so soon, John and I just decided to do a, a small wedding with just us and the witnesses and the judge. We totally understand, don't we, Rex? Whatever makes you happy. You deserve it. Thanks. I'll be right back. This is fantastic. <laughs> Congratulations. Thank you. Are you sure Mari's not going to cause trouble? Well, I'm just going to have to believe her. She swore that she wouldn't tell John that Brody's the father of my baby. I promised I wouldn't tell John. But I didn't say anything about telling Jessica. Here. Oh, can I shut that door? Yeah, go, go ahead. Mm. Look, I know this secret is weighing on you. And I'm sorry you have to carry it, but do not let this stop you from being happy. Rex, it's just so close to being perfect. It's just, I, I, I know that you wish that this was John's baby. More than anything in the world. It's gonna work out. I don't know how much I wanna believe that. Believe it. Look at us. We thought that we were family for so many years, and, and you were my sister in every way. I don't, I don't care what anybody says. Blood doesn't make a damn bit of difference. You love John. He will love this baby. And you will be a family. End of story. Be happy, Natty. I am. Good. I love you. I love you. Hey, I know I'm your default best man, but it is my job to keep you from going off the rails. You know, we've come a long way, you and me, you know? You being a rookie cop to standing up for me at my wedding. Bet you never saw that coming, right? Marrying twins, being in-laws and new dads together. Bro, I didn't see any of it coming, especially being a dad. I've always known I wanted to be a dad. Yeah? 
I didn't know until I was. I didn't know until I was one. But I couldn't want it more. Everything's gonna be fine. Have a great wedding. Can't wait to see the pictures. Oh my God, the pictures. It's okay, I have a camera. <sighs> see you later, you guys. Bye. Bye. What would I do without you? I have no idea. What's this? Open it and find out. Jess, this is, this is beautiful, but it's yours. This covers all your bases. Grandpa gave it to me for my sweet 16, so it's old. <laughs> but I'm giving it to you now, so it's new to you. But it's actually really borrowed, because if you have a little girl, you're going to give it to her on her sweet 16. And of course, it's blue. Jess, Jess, you can't give this to me. You love this. Listen. Lots of presents from Grandpa, but you didn't grow up here, so you kind of missed out on that. Anyways, this just doesn't even come close to expressing how grateful I am that uh, you're my sister. Wait a minute. I thought you didn't think of James as anything more than just a friend. I didn't say that. I just really miss Cole. And I feel bad that you are babysitting me tonight instead of going out somewhere with Ford. Yeah, well, that wasn't gonna happen. Why not? Don't don't tell me that you guys are fighting. No, not even close. That's the problem. Oh, like you said, New Year's is romantic. Yeah, well, it's more than just romantic. It oozes sex, and I'm I'm not ready for that yet. I need to be absolutely sure that Ford's not gonna hurt me again. Hey, Lang. I know that you're worried, but. I I think that you should go for it. You never know when that part of your life might get taken away. Sorry. I'm sorry. No, I just hope the same thing doesn't happen to my sister. You didn't really kill your dad, did you? The cops found the gun at my mom's place, the same gun that was used to kill Eddie. Uh, and they have an eyewitness that mm. saw me leave his motel room that night. That doesn't mean anything. I was angry at Eddie for what he did to my mom to James, or for coming on to you, for being an overgrown bully. Mate, you're still not saying that you killed him. If Star's not the problem, then what is? I know you don't care much about Nate, but he is our brother, and I wish you weren't going down for killing Dad. James, there's nothing we can do about it. Yes, there is. We can thank him. God, you are one drag of a date. Okay. With this. I don't want to shoot again. Hey, Christian. Reading on New Year's Eve. Well, it's a good thing we showed up. We have to rescue Kelly from spending the night with her nose in that magazine. 